Hi, this is Lorena, and I wanted to do a tutorial on heart feathers. So here I am. Wherever you start on your heart is where you stop when you finish closing that heart. I do not like starting my feathers here because it is really awkward, but I wanted to show it because I did it on the quilting machine, and I wanted to show how awkward it is to draw it. And so I'm also, once you draw it, I'm also going to start the feathers at the top. Now, I have certain rules that I wanted to make for myself so I could design these feathers. And one of the rules is I found that the best looking feather is always starting at the bottom. But here I'm showing you different ways of making the heart feathers. And maybe you like them this way. Now, when I do my feathers my heart feathers, I like using the repeating the arc. And so every time I do one feather, I also go and I arc all the way around it to highlight it. So here it is on the long arm so you can see it. Remember, I start at the top, so I end at the top. And so what I don't like about this is when I was making these feathers, they kind of look ugly on the inside of the heart. But, you know, do not be dismayed. Usually quilting after a while, your eyes start to like it. But what I did on this video is I clipped off and I started at the bottom. So I didn't quilt it like I drew it. But I wanted you to still see it. Now, one of the things I wanted to encourage you, however you're quilting, if it's on a domestic or on a long-arm quilting machine, variety is your friend. Thin, fat, short, stubby, long, wide is to the pleasure of the eye. The eye likes looking at variety. And so the more you change up as you quilt, and you may even think, oh my God, that is such an ugly feather. The eye, once you add your other feathers, may not even see the mistake. And so here you see me trying to create a variety. Now this is the arc feather. And so here you see me arcing right there and then going back and arcing again. And here I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and repeat the arc all the way around it. So it highlights that feather. Now I'm going to do several varieties in this video of different types of ways to make heart feathers. Um, and so here you see me just doing, uh, kind of arcing all the way around it. Now this is going to be uh, a heart starting at the top, but I'm also going to use a heart inside to get back to the bottom. And here you see me doing that arc. Now, now in that little area that you have that extra repeat, you could do pebbles in there, you could meander in there, uh, or you could just do different arcs in there to highlight different varieties. But it's really what I consider a travel stitch so that you could travel down. Now here I'm arcing to travel myself all the way to the bottom of that feather and I'm going up that weird leaf look. I always create that leaf look so that my hearts, my I'm sorry, my feathers have something to lean on. And so before I didn't do that weird leaf or kind of weird feather or like teardrop feather and I had issues with how to start in my mind. So now I always create that little kind of leaf feather. It's kind of like a starting point. So my art, my feathers have something to lean on. And so here you see me now I'm creating that leaf and now my feather has a perfect position to lean on. Now on this area you're going to see that I don't do a lot of randomness and I'm just kind of following the position of the feathers which um, it's okay but I've noticed when you do fatter, thinner, smaller, shorter um, it gives the eye more interest and here I'm traveling down and on the paper, I arced all the way down to travel down. And here you see me following the heart line to travel down. Now you see me doing that repeating feather, repeating arc feather. I've noticed when I do the stem feathers where you follow the stem line that um, they're longer and it's harder to follow the position and get a thinner um, feather at the 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 line of the seam, I guess. And this way I've noticed that this may, works the best um, to do the repeating arc feather. And so here you see me arcing all the way around these feathers. And I always arc around any design that I'm doing, any feather design, because it gives the eye a place of rest. Now I'm gonna do here a half our heart. And here you see me um, repeating the feather, repeating the arc, 
as you see me and here i drew the other half and you see the weird wonkiness but the neatest thing about feathering or quilting you could use that wonkiness to create an interest and here you see me um following the stem and that weird feather in the center so i could start my feathers and then i'm going to travel down the stem of the heart and then i'm going to come out and then um arc all the way around and here you're going to see me doing it on the long arm so what i'm trying to do is just give you different varieties but i establish rules for myself the best feather heart feathers that i like are the ones that i start at the bottom and what um and so here you see me not having a lot of variety as i'm repeating the arc feather and i'm keep going back and forth and you see that it kind of gets boring but when i added that bigger feather prong it looks a lot more interesting and here i'm going and then you see me quilting the other side of the heart and it's kind of weird here you see it it's kind of weird but it still works it kind of does a kind of softer heart and here you see me just constantly repeating the arc feather and going back and forth and then i'm going to hopefully go find a way you could find it by following the stem of the heart or you could repeat the arc around it to get back to the bottom position and here you see me repeating the arc again the arc feather again if i could get my words to say them clearly and so here you see just a different variation of how you can do feathers inside and outside and now here i'm going to do a heart what i did is i started at the bottom you start at the bottom you end at the bottom you start at the top you end at the top and here you see me just drawing it on paper i really do recommend that we practice on paper and then get yourself on the machine and practice on uh, the quilting machine now here you saw me either follow the stem down or arc it all the way around to get to the bottom position so you can start your feathers again and here you see me do a, a more variety and let me show you the difference and as you see the vi I'm arcing all the way around or follow the stem however you prefer and here you see me drawing that little feather at the very center bottom and then it has something that my feathers can lean on and here I'm arcing down or you could follow the stem it just depends on how you want to get down there and then you see me drawing the feathers now I'm going to go on the quilting machine so you can see the same process do you notice that bigger fatter and that different variety gives the eye interest to make those feathers and here I am quilting making the feather repeating the arcs again and you see me I started at the bottom I ended at the bottom and I'm starting my feathers at the bottom and here you see me kind of not doing a lot of different variety and that's fine if you don't like it and you see me following the stem of the heart drawing and here you see me repeating the different re feathers now hopefully maybe I'll do a little bit more variety so that the eye can see interest and you don't have to but I noticed that they just look better here's that little stem so that my feather can lean on something to create the next feather now here i just did little feathers as if they're folding on each other and i'm following that stem line and i'm repeating that feather and repeating the arc feather and you see me following i really do hope you like this tutorial always um arc around your designs because it gives interest and it gives rest so that you start your next design i hope you like this tutorial and i hope you have a wonderful day guys hey thank you for watching my videos and thank you for subscribing you guys make my heart skip a beat i really appreciate you and i'm thankful that you guys are watching my videos have a wonderful day